chatters. The chat rooms are really so silly, dude. Welcome back to the show, guys. It's Sunday, June 26, 2011. This is Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm your host, Popeye, from federaljack.com. And uh, I believe Jimmy X uh, got an email from a fat Burger King eating. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've offended the sweaty no sweat hog. Yeah, the representative from, food. a representative from the Obese Masters Association was very offended about my comments about eating healthy being a conspiracy theory. So I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah. to guys I'm sure all the hate mail Popper Club. Oh, and to to it, uh, instead of typing because I just I, I can't stand I, I have too many things going on right now, so I'm not going to take the time to do it. But to answer a question uh, as to am I in a mood today? No, I'm not in a mood. I'm just tired of the retarded people and the retarded infighting. So either it stops because my chat room is not to be used for that crap. So either it stops or I'll just eradicate the chat room altogether. So end of story. Now. Getting back into the real important issues, not the, the retarded things that are going on. What I was talking about on JJ's show, Maryland is the, is the state, JJ, not Massachusetts. It's Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Becomes Sorry. the first state to require environmental literacy. In a historic vote, the Maryland State Board of Education provided specific guidance to all public schools to require that each student be environmentally literate before he or she graduates from high school. Wow. What exactly does I mean, I was environmentally, environmentally mean? How, what's the, wh- where do they set the bar? It used to be bring in, bring out. Don't litter. I mean, what? Now Seriously, it means where do they, everything. Where do they from, leave the bar? Where, where is the bar set? Toilet paper to. The bar is constantly things. moving. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, see, what, what what's scary is what happens when they start teaching these kids that humans. I mean, they're I mean, they're already teaching it, but what happens when they really start pushing it? That humans are bad; they got to go. Well, it's just a justification for uh, you know one-child policies. I mean, you know what I mean? Oh well, I, dude, they destroyed China. I mean, it's it's already admitted that they have literally seriously destroyed the generations. Because of the whole one-child policy and things, they have literally destroyed future generations because of that. They and they've know also. What go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Well, I'm just saying they know what they're doing. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, you look at it with a one-child policy. You're not seeing any real families together. You, you, all you're seeing is the, you know, the real nuclear family. Or I think it's nuclear family. You know, just a man and woman and a child. When you have that, that child grows up. And he has really no family to look for. You know what I mean? True. And then when he gets a, his own little nuclear family and his parents get old, he puts them in a group home or, uh, I mean, an old folks home. Yep. And there's, there's no big big families who can get together. And, there are some. Oh, but yeah. you're right. And you know what? Rob Chowder uh, one night hit the head or the nail right on the head. And he said when he asked why would... They put have an all attack on big families because big families fight back. They protect each other. They help exactly. each other. Yep, my point exactly. If your brother lives in Ohio and you live in Washington and your sister lives in, you know, Vermont, how, you know, it, it, it's unmanageable. The, the logistics there aren't there mm-hmm. to even take care of family matters. Luckily, I live, all my family lives in this area. But other Well, they otherwise. want your kids to be programmed that you're stupid and that parents yeah. are dumb. That, dude, that's why we have the problems we have. Seriously, why do you think people, look, you'll see a 60-year-old guy, right? And he's trying to educate maybe a bunch of teenage kids, right? And they'll, screw you, old man, and give him the finger and maybe spit at him. God knows whatever else they're going to say to him. Perhaps even smack the guy or attack the guy now because kids nowadays really don't have any morals but when i was a kid you didn't do that you sat and listened to the that your elders you respected your elders but that was taught at home and if it's yes. not taught to you at home you're not when you go out in the real world you're not going to have any respect for people you deal with you're going to walk around the street and see people and be like 
Look at this scumbag. Look at this, you know, a-hole. Oh, screw him, blah, blah, blah. You know, why do you think people see other people in the middle of the street on the ground, you know, dying, and they just step over him and continue on? Because they don't care. Their parents didn't a- teach them. And then the schools, the schools take all your humanity out. Charlotte Isserby talks about that stuff, how they're, they're sovietizing all the schools so that you have, you know, it's literally you have the Soviet education in your head. Oh, absolutely. It's totally Marxist ideology in schools right now. I mean, the rich are, are the rule, you know, the rich are, don't care about the poor. You know what I mean? And it's just all of this stuff to divide. You know what I mean? True. Yeah, of they'll course just keep to divide. Yeah, they'll just keep dividing and dividing until everybody's an individual and only cares about themselves. With a crew cut. Yep. <laughs> a crew cut and a flak jacket. That's it. You'll be male Caucasian. What did What did David Rockefeller say? I want a nation of workers, not a nation yeah. of thinkers. Yeah, he doesn't want a nation of Jims and Johns and He doesn't Popeyes, want you guys Bob's. thinking about what we're telling you. know, hey, don't do this. You might get hurt. No, just go ahead and do it. Don't worry about yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. Just do it. Drone. That's what they want. Males and females. That's it. Males all get their heads shaved nowadays. I mean, I know it's comfortable. But. And and everybody takes the easy way out now. I mean, you know, got you know. I mean, in the underground movement or whatever, you know, people just they're always trying. They're always trying to get to that next step of education and understanding and learning. But the the average citizen has completely stopped that a long time ago. Yeah, man. And you know, if you don't agree with something, just don't agree with it. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, there is no real movement. I mean, there is a movement, but it's it's so ineffectual right now because. Well, I think it's the invisible things that get blown up. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. even the big networks talk about how they're being, a, you know, spend a portion a portion of their shows talking about you know the about people that are attacking them here and there, and, and you know, within their own within our own little you know supposed movement. So it's not. But- ju- it, it just gets so much exposure when it happens. Well, I think there is a, you know, a big truth movement out there, and I'm not talking about the truth movement that we're all aware of. I think it's the invisible truth movement. It's the, you know, it's the truth seekers out there who aren't falling for, you know, the, uh, the next best thing in conspiracy theory. It's an invisible movement in my, in my sense that we are all connected, but we just don't realize it. All right. Well. But that's just my humble opinion. My point is, is I, even if I don't agree with someone's approach, I don't care. I just, look, man, I'm doing my thing. And, you know, there's a lot of people that don't agree with me. And that's fine. But you don't have to hate me for it. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to come over to your house and, and necessarily shove anything down your throat. I'm hopefully I, I'm talking about things that make people wonder and go, yeah, really, why is that? Not to, look, and people really... It's not that these radio networks, our shows do get broadcast and micro broadcasted out there, and other people that aren't, you know, part of the twenty or thirty or forty people in the in the local chat rooms, who are already spent hundreds of hours doing research, and you know, and they're all little armchair truthers too. We all are, and, and I just try to I try to make it so that my show when I'm talking, I just don't I do, I sort of don't, I'm not talking to guys that I already know what I'm saying. So I don't, I I make no excuses for the way I present anything. And, uh, you know, I just hope that somebody would listen to what we're saying and go, wow. You know? Oh, and they do, man. And they definitely do. There are people listening, hopefully. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right, guys, we're going to break. We'll be right back. We got to go pay some bills. It's the Orion Talk Radio Network, micro 1650 AM. Big shot. The Millwalk. 